we're gonna call it the Aldwin hair, even though it's just the middle part, I understand. But um, yeah, this is pretty much my hair. It's getting a little scary, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost time to start putting on sweatpants and sweatshirt. Uh, right now we're looking at 68 degrees. And it's about to be 12. Oh God, it is what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, while I take these supplements, I guess, these little vitamins. I want to show you guys what I take. Obviously, this doesn't have to apply exactly to your guys' needs, but, you know, I'm just showing you guys what I what I take. Three fish oils, get zinc, ashwagandha, multivitamin, and then vitamin D, and then creatine. Five milligrams. I weigh around 160, 161, so five milligrams is all right. I heard creatine's also body weight dependent, but for the majority of the time, if you're not over, you know, if you're not over 180 or something, you'll be all right with five milligrams. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's epic meal time. Not literally epic meal time, but you know what I mean. Honestly, I've had meal preps that I've like actually gotten sick of by like the third day, you know what I mean? I was really focused on like the amount of calories per container. I realized that's not, not, that's not the greatest idea. So I toned back the calories and um, I think this still has like five, 600 calories maybe. I care about the flavor more, you know what I mean? Some people only care about like the, the fuel aspect of the, of the food, not like the enjoyment, you know what I mean? That's not inherently wrong. Back in the day, we used to just care about food as fuel, you know what I mean? Back in the caveman days, but uh, guess what? I'm not a caveman. I like to enjoy my food, so now I gotta think of like a meal prep for next week so I can, uh, so I can shop on Sunday. This, each bite, My jaw just popped. Nice. Ow. This is really good, man. I don't know if I should do a uh, a rice-based meal next week or a pasta-based meal. Either way, it's gonna be a good meal, though. I think someone's here. Give me a moment. What I will say, though, I do wanna I do wanna start doing this thing. It's like a I'm taking inspiration from Casey Kelly. If you guys have never seen him before, he's uh, he does this like uh, he does he does bodybuilding shows and stuff. The way he micromanages every single meal is crazy i don't want to get to that point but i'm just taking some of his ideas when it comes to you know what he eats and stuff and i want to try to implement some of that in my in my diet i guess so on top of the meal prep that i want to do for next week i also want to fry up some like some meats and get some carbs in there too and then have a meal before and after uh, the gym well specifically before the gym because i always have a meal after the gym anyway but have a meal before the gym and you know kind of go from there i think i want i want to start doing that it's funny how i'm only doing <laughs> It's funny how I'm only starting this now, like, when I'm almost done with the bulk. So this last week, this is going to be, like, the hardest push. This is going to be home stretch. This is going to be a good amount of meals, and I'm excited. As long as it tastes good, I'll be all right. But I got yogurt, and I also got fruits, and I also got a crumble cookie. So we'll be, we'll be chilling. All right. I'll see you in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got out of the shower. Obviously, the hair isn't what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, you know, uh, fluffy and all that kind of stuff, so... I might as well just, you know, run you guys through like the little process of what I do for, uh, to, to, to get it to that stage, right? So what we're going to need, this nice little American cream, this, and then, uh, and then a blow dryer. It's about like a 15 minute process, 10 minute process, give or take, depending on how much of an expert you are at it. But in reality, it doesn't take that long. This is how much American cream you need right here. Just kind of rub that on and then everywhere. This will give it a nice, like decent hold without it like being stiff you know what i mean like how gel does now you see your hair kind of you know like this so now the product is on now it's you know i split it down the middle pretty easy from here you just kind of blow dry like in this area right here right medium heat high heat doesn't really matter um let's do it all right, now you can kind of see that it's like, it's it's forming a little bit and it's it's looking decent. Now it's like, it's about like 90% dry, 80% dry. Still got a little bit of dampness on it, but we're just going to let air uh, take care of the rest of this. And um, you know what? I don't know if I want to experiment with this. Should I experiment? Because the next step is uh, specifically this piece right here. I'm going to flip it up, like curl it up, right? I do kind of like this flowy feel right now. Like it looks good. I think it looks great. I think we're going to try this. Right. We're gonna call it the Aldwin hair, even though it's just the middle part, I understand. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much my hair. I do like the flowiness, like I said. I Like, it feels, it feels so light. I like it. A nice shower, a strong lift coming up. It's a, it is a great afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me educate you here a little bit further. So the Aldwin haircut, right, the, the middle part, usually takes me, like I said, about 10 to 15 minutes, give or take. The majority of that time is taken up because of the curler, right? The blow drying part doesn't really take that long. It, like I said, it's mostly the, it's mostly the curling. I feel like I needed to curl it last time that I 
properly did my hair because uh, uh, it was it was a little bit ago, so it was uh, it was definitely shorter. Now it's gone a little bit longer. Now I don't feel like I need to uh, uh, curl it. I don't know. It's just kind of my taste right now. I don't know if I need to curl it. You know, I always I always, I always got a curler over there. But who am I impressing? Right? I'm just just going to the gym. Nothing serious. Either way, let's. Uh, Head to the gym here. We got pull day. I am planning to absolutely annihilate my biceps today. Obviously annihilate my back at the same time, but pause. But I want to destroy my biceps today. Th th these 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 puppies are definitely gonna gonna feel the burn. You know what isn't great though? It is only 8 p.m. It's only approaching 8 p.m. and uh, the sun is already down. I wish we had more time, man. I wish we had, or I guess I wish we had more daytime. You know what I mean? We're doing pull day today, so I do want to do face pull. The big three, I guess. I guess, I don't know. This is probably for everyone, but the, the, the big three muscles that I neglect. My traps, uh, my rear delts, and also my, uh, what's the other one? My forearms, all right? I used to neglect calves as well, but, um, you know, I've every, every leg day I've been doing calves. So, yeah, those three, I want to try to add it somewhere into the lift face pulls for rear delts are obviously going to be for uh for for, for for pull day traps could probably be for leg day for push day i could do forearms i don't know either way let's head to the gym enough yapping and just have a great time <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and lady boys, and everything in between. Uh, your boy had a great pump today. Got everything I needed to get done. I did shorten on the sets a little bit. So um, the last half of my workouts, I did two sets, but uh, two intense, very intense sets. So of course, for the you know, if you if you if you want to be a complete science-based lifter, there's really nothing wrong with doing two sets as long as you keep that intense you know what i mean we just all kind of defaulted to three sets because that's just kind of like you know like i said we just defaulted to it because it's the standard all you really got to maintain is the is the intensity you know make sure you get the you get the right form get the right um range of motion and you're progressively overloading some people do one set which that's just not for me i like to do a little bit more than that yeah back day successful today surprisingly i think from if i can recall here I'm, I'm forgetting my days of the week here but today is the first day this week that i had uh that i had dave's hot chicken wait wait nope 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 i had it on monday damn never mind never mind never mind better than three all right better than three I actually that's kind of what i want to move into more i want to genuinely move into a more stricter diet as much as dirty bulking is fun i think saving money and you know Having meal prep is also just as fun. Of course, I'm gonna indulge in some, you know, fatty foods. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna indulge, right? But just not as much, because, you know, the financial situation could definitely be better at the moment. And, you know, I don't wanna make that even worse with <laughs> with my gluttony. I'm gonna go home and then uh, I'm gonna eat the rest of this Dave's and have a great rest of my day or rest, have a great rest of my night. Yes, sir. Listen. Uh, turn around. No, I got options, begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it Always got the key in my heart is to lock it Yeah, 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 yeah I like a pro, but you're really a novice